all right what's going on guys so in today's video i'm going to be doing something that i've been pretty interested in doing for the past few months now and that's going to be breaking down some of my best clips that i've ever hit and explaining to you the reasoning behind why i peak certain things why i push certain things why i'm holding certain angles all that good stuff so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a few of my older videos these videos were compilations of my best clips ever so chances are you've seen some of these clips chances are some of them are a little bit older but the point is is i just want to break down the clip and explain to you why I did certain things I think it'll be pretty interesting to watch and also informative and educational so if you're trying to improve I think this video could help you and if you just want to you know watch some cool clips you'll enjoy this as well all right so the first clip we're going to be looking at is really old this is probably my best 1v5 clutch ever so I'm going to go ahead and play the clip out and then I'll like watch it back through with you guys and like pause the certain parts but yeah this was Man, this is a pretty old clip now. I want to say this was... It was definitely Burnt Horizon. But this was one of my best clips ever, man. This was a, a 1v5 in one mag. All headshots. So, kind of the situation was... All of my teammates had died, as you can see. They're all dead in the top right here. And I had no other choice but to just kind of push in. So, I walked in and i you know the first thing i was pre-aiming was bathroom because i was fighting this my show earlier so i'm pre-aiming that i can hear this warden i believe it's warden yeah warden i heard this warden on my right so immediately i look towards the piano I, I i kill him now i i heard my teammates call out that they died to garage right and i can i can obviously see the skull there indicating that one of my teammates died also the pick up the, the diffuser icons there so i have sight which is great but i can have sight for this full two minutes and still lose because i don't have bomb so as soon as i kill those two guys i'm immediately going for bomb i don't care if they retake sight i need the bomb right so the first thing i do pre-aim this i want to crouch up because i don't know where they are that's an easy kill now i'm going to check the site because in my mind if there's two guys off site holding bomb and i kill the one guy there the other guy might try to flank me so i'm aiming for that no one's there i'm pushing back up that's an easy kill and now i'm going to look back to site um so the reason i looked back towards the rotate hole after i kill this one my here uh and i go to kill this dock was for the same reason as before it's just i don't want someone from site pushing up on me when i have my back turned to them basically right so yeah that was that was honestly probably my best uh 1v5 ever all right so let's go ahead and skip here so this is another a little bit of an older clip with jackal this clip is really nice though i remember hitting that shot right there and i it was so satisfying hitting it that goyo I don't have a reload indicator. I wonder why. Or I don't have like my ammo count. Weird. All right. <laughs> that last kill. All right. So let's break it down. So first things first, the first kill, of course. So I dropped the hatch. I heard a C4 go off. How is my teammate going to die on the roof by a C4, right? Is he going to die from my right? Probably not. Is he going to die from the hatch? Well, I can't really see anyone, so probably not. He probably got C4 from the skylight, right? So make sure to check your angles when you go in. You don't want to just tunnel vision. So I checked my angles, made sure I could walk in, right? Easy kill on the guy that just C4 my teammate. Now, another one of my teammates got C4. There goes Vexian. Who's surprised that Vexian's dead, right? So I heard the C4 go off. I see the skull. I knew where Vexian was prior in the round. So I'm immediately going to look towards the only place where he could have got C4 from. Again, clear your angles when you're pushing up on something. Never get tunnel visions. I know that this guy's in piano, but you can see when I'm walking up on it. I kill this, this uh, mute here first, right? And immediately I'm already starting to ADS and I'm clearing my angle as I walk up. Now I'm about to expose myself to this left angle here in the doorway. Clear my other angle, right? That's clear. Now go back to the angle I was just holding. That's clear. Now, like, make sure no one's on the shield. Clear all the angles here. Walk into freezer because I heard him shuffle. Easy kill on the guy freezer. That guy I just heard. There's. It's really unlikely that anyone's going to be 
uh, near this Goyo's body only because I already killed someone there and I also just cleared my angles there so like there's really no reason for him to be there so the next best thing to clear is freezer I also heard him that was that was pretty easy so I hear that he just died in piano he gives the call out as well that I just decided to wall bang because I was holding the angle as I walked up and he's not peeking not peeking might as well wall bang and that was just lucky to be honest that was complete luck yeah, that was another little ace. Oh, I remember this clip. Yo, everybody loves this rook clip for some reason. Honestly, I, I don't even know if there's anything to break down in this clip. There's a, there's a, there's a we'll see. I almost flicked on that guy. I don't know how I didn't kill him. Like that guy just did not want to die, man. It's straight up undiable. So... Oh my god. Ashley All right. Yeah, do do please consider subscribing if you enjoy. Uh okay. Let's break this down. So there actually is a little bit to break down here, okay? So, let's start from around here. So, mark. you saw that I was 180ing. I was peeking here. I believe this is on old cafe. But people would go up on this little like building here and they would look towards the uh the spawn peak that I'm on. So, I was checking to make sure no one was there cuz you see it's early in the round. So I'm just like, I, when you're playing against a Monte player, it's very important to look at what Montaigne is looking at because bad Monte players will look at their teammates to make sure that their teammates are pushing with them. And this guy was a little bit angled over here. So I was a little bit worried about someone pushing up this way. And I think Capitao did, um, or no Maverick did, but either way, always check what Montaigne is looking at. If Montaigne looks away from you, he's looking at his teammate. Keep that in mind. And then right here, I've been outside for so long. Like, where are these guys going to be? They're not behind me because I was pre ADSing that. They're not in front of me. I just killed two people there. They're not inside because I have my teammates there. So next, next thing to peek is the roof. And I did hear this guy like right here. Easy kill. Oh my God. I was going to come east there or something. All right, we'll break down this clip next. This is a uh... man. If you guys, if you guys have been sub to me for a while, you'll know this clip. This was my like one of my best Ella clips um well, I don't know about one of my best but it was a really good clip people uh, people really like this clip because I, I kind of destroyed this blitz <laughs> um so let's this uh, there's actually a good clip to break down so again all about clearing your angles when you're pushing up on stuff right so I was thinking I was fighting Ash outside of break room before so I'm pushing up towards East Stairs because I can't see if she's in yet. You know, Ash is fast. She might already be in East Stairs. So I'm pre-aiming that. I'm exposing myself now to the windows. So I want to clear that. So I stop ADSing East Stairs. I ADS at the windows. And now there's going to be times where you do this and Ash is East Stairs and you die. And that's just timing. You, you can't do anything about that. But in my opinion, it's always best to check the angles that you're exposing yourself to. That's what I did. I saw her right then. Easy kill. I saw the bullet tracers when I was aiming at Ash. So immediately I 180. I see this little repel. So I know that, okay, that guy's on repel. So I'm just waiting. Easy kill. Now it's a blitz. So I know that my gun does not do enough damage to kill him. Even if he's like 75, 60 health, there's no way I'm killing him with this gun. I have 13 bullets and this gun is 23 damage. And I'm only going to be able to shoot his hands and feet. So it's going to do even less than that. So... I need to expose his head somehow. So immediately I thought, what if I run up to him, make him flash me and I 180 so that he thinks I'm flash and then he goes to ADS me, but I, I 180 again and I kill him and it worked, but he didn't flash me. He tried to melee me. So like my shot worked, but just not quite as I expected. I thought he was going to go for the flash and then I would turn around as if I'm flash and I'd like move all over the place and he tried to ADS and I'd kill him. But instead he meleeed, which actually worked out just fine. Um Wow, these clips are ruining me back. This is a, a scrim clip against a PL team back when I played comp. We're not gonna break this one down though, because it's a little bit slow. This clip I will break down though. I wanna say I wanna say this clip. I want to say this game was my champ game, but I think it was against Yardy and Skittles. I can't remember. 
I get high pure, so audio warning. There it is. All right. So look, let, let's break it down, right? Let's break it down. So it's one minute left. I'm getting the call out that they have garage and that breach is open. They're going for a default plant. I'm getting the call outs that Montane is pushed up on. Let me see it. Let, let me see. Am I going to show it? Okay. Well, I'm getting the call out that Montane's on my left right here on the door and that they can't push up. So I was waiting at this window so that when they go for the plant, I can jump out, jump in the other window and I can kill the guy planting. That, that was my entire thing. That's all I wanted to do is kill the planter. So right when I jump out, I hear this guy go and repel. There it is, right? So I know that he's there. I don't have the time to sit there and try to fight that though. If I try to fight that, he's probably going to win it and I won't be able to do this. And all I care about is the planter, like I said. So I hop in. I knew the Montane was there. Easy kill on Montane. Jumped out to kill this guy in repel. Jumped back in. And I knew the last one would be on breach. Killed him. <gasps> Easy kill. Easy clip. Let me mute it. We'll watch it one more time. Just so, just so you don't hear my screaming over and over. So the repel sounds. Kill the Montane. Jump out. Kill the guy in repel. Look through there. Kill the guy in breach. The last guy in breach, I just knew he was going to be there. Because where else is he going to be, you know? Uh, so, yeah. And then this is when I... Is when I hit champ. Hey, let's go, baby. Number 180. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's let's find another good clip to break down here. Oh, this is a montage clip. Okay, so I remember I was making this video and I put two montage clips in back to back. I just muted the audio. We'll watch them. I remember this. This was the first day that I switched to the Razor Viper. And then this was a long time ago. We're, we're not, we're not going to break those down. Oh no, the KG clip. You know what? We'll break down the KG clip. I'm sure you guys are interested in this. So if you guys are, are OGs to my channel, you guys have been subbed for a long time. You know that I played against, oh, wait, what is, what is that? I don't think it's scrolling full screen. Anyways, um, I played against KG and I 1v5 them. So that's what we'll be showing now. Um, he was not happy, as as you'll hear him say right now. He was play, play together. This guy's just a baiting losers. In in KG's own words, I'm just a baiting loser. I'm taking aim of whoever for Cabana. That's a So let's see it. I was playing with Uzi here too. This is a this is a good minute ago. So we'll, we'll play the clip and then I'll go back and break it down as usual. This is also back when I was like a gridlock man. I've been picking her up a little bit recently too. In George's defense, I'll say this really quickly. That's a really hard gunfight. Like the angle that I'm holding, I have a better angle than he does. It's a much tighter shot just because of like the actual literal angle. This guy. Um, it, it hit him to the railing. Really down. hard to kill me. Oh, it's gonna be a good breakdown here. Play, play together. This guy's just a baiting fucking loser. There it is, bro. There it is. Just, just play together. Just My bad. It's a long clip. But we'll break it down quick. Don't worry about it. Because we'll, we'll skip the downtime. This was so tense right there because I wasn't sure if I downed him or not. Oh, back when you could just walk over the diffuser and pick it up. There it is, baby. The 1v5. So listen, let, let's break it down. It's a long clip. Let's break it down.
so first things first first kill again on the main stairs so i was holding just a passive angle and this guy just walked up there's nothing to break down about this he just was way too aggressive i was holding my angle waiting for them to peek like they are and he walked up for no reason pulled out the shotgun just in case someone else pushed up no one did skip this so that's right after i just got that kill all right so now now it's me i'm just waiting because it's a one in my mind it's a 1v5 clutch and i'm lit i know that the cade that just pushed me is saying that i'm lit when he killed me so i'm just waiting for him to peek george peaked shouldn't have peeked that he even said it himself all right so so my teammate right there just said they're in kitchen right see one's coming behind you he says two kitchen so i we'd pushed open area earlier in the rounds and they had all the hatches open for like a retake so they opened the hatch that wasn't us and i thought in my mind okay perfect if they're coming kitchen let me go straight upstairs like i was gonna hold this just in case they like were being super aggro but i was just going straight upstairs you see i stopped sprinting i crouch right here so they don't hear me coming and just be patient i got 50 seconds on the clock you know use the time that i have to get a free kill here easy kill that guy was still looking at the double door so right here i get a call out saying that there's one archives which is just on my right Let's see if we can hear it yep there it is he's in archives okay so he's trying to hold the bomb that's what he's trying to do this guy should have went back to site there's 20 seconds left he should be playing with his teammate i don't know what he's doing he's trolling so he says that he's archived so so first i'm i'm gonna be exposed to the door first so that's what i want to clear then i'm gonna be exposed to the window clear door then clear window i downed him there luckily i guess he was lit dropped hatch 15 seconds am i gonna get the plant down as soon as i got echoed i knew i wasn't going to i gotta push him and it was actually funny i got no i got no beef with brian or anybody here but brian i think he was the echo player and he was like dude you're stunned why are you pushing in like just go for the plant it's like dude you really think i'm gonna i'm gonna get a plant down when you've got a maestro cam on me and two echoes with 10 seconds left on the board there's no way bro there's just no way so uh yeah they were too aggressive this really wasn't me being like this wasn't me being like insane this was literally them just peeking this is this is how to lose a 5v1 not how to win a 1v5 okay like that's just what that came down to right there all right so i want to break down this one last clip here uh from this video and we might go to a different video or i might save it for like a part two but this this clip i i really like this one and people listen if, if anybody tries to tell you that that they started the dog shotgun trends let it be known that i did this is from like almost two years ago all right let's break it down <laughs> so i was playing close to the shoddy prone because who's gonna expect a doc with a shotgun close prone on the ground it's literally nobody this guy swings in looking head height gets destroyed right like who expects that like the, like what, what i should have done realistically is sit behind the bomb and then held the the uh head angle that's what that dude was expecting me to do instead i prone in front of with no cover with a dock shotgun there's just no predicting that you know <laughs> uh and then this was like i heard i heard a guy right there um so let, let me go back right here i heard a guy break room and that's why i looked here i was making sure it wasn't pushing so i was getting the info to know that he wasn't close killed this guy i heard this guy easy one tap and then i just cleared breach that was pretty simple what i should have done is i should have one tapped this guy immediately switched weapons right here to the shotgun and then stopped sprinting and then peeked that guy luckily he was lit because if he wasn't lit i, I would have been in in for some rough times for sure like what was that uh a 2v1 at the end yeah we want we might have lost that round i really should have went for the shotgun but that uh that was it that was that so uh, i think i'm gonna save the rest of the clips for a part two uh if you guys would like to watch this video it's called the best of shock or mystic siege i have a few of these i just looked it up 
I have this one from 10 months ago. The one we watched is from a year ago. I didn't review all the clips in it. So if you would like to watch the rest of this video, again, just look up shock best like I did here. And you can see it's the best of shock one year ago. That's what we watched. We'll watch this video for the next uh, breakdown. It's the best of 2020. And uh, we'll go over stuff like uh, this, this infamous ace thing that I did here. When I threw all the aces up here for sound and then rushed up uh that was fun so we'll go over like clips like this next time and then we'll also review some of my some of my newer clips we're not only going to review old clips i know that a lot of people don't like just seeing old clips so we are going to review like some clips from here uh and all that uh probably not like the newest videos only because like you guys have just seen those so it might be a little bit boring but we will review these clips here and uh break them down for you anyways though i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did let me know so that I know to make a second video on this. Uh, if you enjoyed, drop a like, drop a sub. Make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss another upload. And I'll catch you later.